I'm at a microgreens farm just outside of Brantford, Ontario called Kind Organics. We're gonna check out the harvesting machine that they're using here. It's made by a company called Hamel. It's in Niagara, Ontario, and these guys are harvesting about 700 flats today, and that's just taken a couple hours. So, if they were to just do it constantly and didn't have to stop and load new crops, and they had it all in one place, I'm sure they could harvest that much in an hour. But you'll see with this machine how fast it actually is. So, we're going to check it out, and we're going to talk to Bob, who is the manufacturer of this machine. This is Bob Benner from Hamel Machinery, and he's going to talk about the harvester and uh, what it's all about. All right. So we designed this harvester specifically for microgreens or any greens, and uh, we designed it with the, the farmer uh, in mind. The machine it runs off 110 volt, uh, 15 amp breaker. You plug it in and you go. There's there's nothing else required. Everything is washed down. Uh, it's all stainless steel. Our cabinets are washed down. Our motors are washed down. And your control panel is very user friendly. It's good. simply you turn the power on, your in feed, your incline, and your cutter. They all have speed controls so you can adjust the speed of your product going in and the speed of your product coming out. Equipped with uh, all your safety features. On the other side, there's two uh, emergency stops, uh, guarding so you cannot get your hands in there. Our blades are chromed for uh, life and expectancy and just so they don't rust on the product. Everything is built locally in Niagara Falls. We use uh, uh, Canadian American Motors. Everything is, is, is made in Canada uh, locally. Nice. We have a customer right now. The beauty of this machine, you can run it this slow with one or two people or we have a customer that's cutting 2,500 trays a day with it. So in a nine hour period, they're cutting 2,500 trays. That's the beauty of the speed control. Uh, you can slow it down so you can load it, go to the other end and unload it. So even if you have a, a, a small greenhouse, it's still effective. I mean, look at how fast and how clean that cuts the yeah. product. Yeah. It cuts at all the exact same length and it doesn't tear the product. Yeah. So even if you're a small grower, the efficiencies are just uh, so good. Right, right. This machine is virtually maintenance free. All our bearings, uh, everything is sealed bearings so you don't have to grease them. Um, you, you can see the bearing covers here are plastic coated, uh, you know, again, just for, for wash down. Yeah. Um, our uh, height adjuster, it's all wash down. So it's just a, our guarding, we've designed it so we have a quick disconnect, so you just take this off and you clean it. Yeah. Our, we can lift up our belt, so they can take it for cleaning. And how are they cleaning it? Just spraying it down? Spraying it down with uh, the different, whatever chemicals they're using. The beauty of this belt is um, there's just a pin in there. You can pull the belt out, you can take it off, you can power wash it, whatever you want, and, yeah. uh, and put it back on. Uh, we've got adjusters here, so the trays are a little wider, a little narrower. Okay, you can, yeah. you can adjust fully. They've got this set for 1020s. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Super easy to clean too. Which is is nice. it? Yeah. Do you clean it at the end of each harvest day? Yeah. Yeah, uh, with bleach, so it gets a pretty yeah. Good disinfection. Do you like with this? Do you do anything with that I belt? Do. I do. You take it, it off? Or you scrub I it? I do. I take it off. Um, yeah, we just use like a nylon bristle brush yep. on it uh, with bleach. That's actually the last generation with that type of belt. We've designed it now with a uh, modular belt like this. Okay. So you pull the pin and take it off. Way easier. Yeah, yeah. because um, with the different chemicals, what we found too was it shrinks the belt and then you, you have to adjust it. Right. With the modular, it doesn't shrink it. The, the customer is virtually zero maintenance. Again. Right. When we were contacted by Kind Organics, they were uh, cutting 30 trays per hour by hand using scissors. So using our machine, they're cutting 400 trays per hour. So 
based on the cost of labor, works out to about uh, 50 cents a tray to cut by hand. With our machine, it takes it down to 1.2 cents uh, a tray. And even if you finance this machine, you would uh, make a month's payment in one day with the labor save. Yeah, we're currently selling the machine for uh, 39,000 Canadian or approximately 32,000 uh, US. Um, we do have financing available in Canada through national leasing. They'll finance the machine up to 100% for whatever terms you want. Wow. From um, like two years up to six or seven years. They're very flexible wow. on this equipment. We also have a leasing company in the States, in the United States, that will uh, lease this equipment up to 100% as well. So uh, controls are super simple, blade up and blade down. I've already set the blade height. You set it for each crop, kind of? I do. I, I, uh, I tend to have, yep, yeah. I tend to have, a, a, you know, I, I generally start with the crops that need the highest blade height first, and then, then I just work down. my way down. Yep. Um, and then uh, I'll set the, the speed for the uh, in-feed and then the incline. I don't want things moving too fast or what I find is that it can pull the plant out of, yeah. the, of the tray and I just want it to cut and then get, you know, to fall onto the belt. And then I tend to have the blade going pretty much full speed. Yeah. You ready? All right, here we go. Our pea shoots are tragically short because of the minus 20s and 30s we've yeah. had. What's your, so that's taking your yield probably from a pound down to uh, three quarters or half, yeah. So if you guys want to check out more with Hamel and that machine, if you're curious, the link will be below. Check them out. They're sending these machines out all over North America and um, they're innovating something that not a lot of people are doing. So check it out. Talk to you guys later. Yeah.